Hi everyone, welcome back to Sharon Cullen Art. Today I'm just doing a time-lapse demonstration of a reference photo that I found on Paint My Photo. You can find it here, I'll post the link um, and also post it in my description box below. Uh, I started out by putting moon glow in this cloudy sky and I'm letting it dry and then I'm going to go over it again. But before I let it dry, I'm going to kind of dab it off with a paper towel. Then I'll put another color on top of that. In the meantime, I'm putting some lavender in the snow. And that will fade down. You almost won't even be able to see it anymore. Um, and I'll go in later with some other color to uh, put my shadows in. Here I'm removing that excess moon glow. And now you can see how... The sky just looks real kind of jaggedy and icky. So I'm going to go ahead in a little bit and put some lavender over that. Um, in the meantime, I'm putting some um, iridescent moonstone over the silo, which was silver in color, kind of a chrome. And here I'm <laughs> putting these colors on my barn and have them way too dark. So. I'm going to take that color back off. I'm just going to dab it off with a paper towel and um, fix it. And then I will uh, move along with the rest of the barn. Now here on the right, I'll be putting in some distant pines. I'm using some perylene green <laughs> mixed in with a little bit of endanthrone blue. Um, you can use any green and blue you'd like, but you should really blue down the trees in the distance um, because they become a little less bright green. At the end, I will add some snow to those, those distant pines um, because it is snowing in this photo. It's like a blizzard in this photo and I can't show you the reference photo because paint my photo does not allow that um, their rule is that um, if you want to see it you need to subscribe to their website and look there's no money to subscribe and you don't receive endless emails or anything like that so um, it is kind of fun though because you can look at other people's artwork too from the reference photos that they chose I think you get the idea here with the tree, so I'm just going to move past this. Now here I'm starting on some large pine trees that are closer to the foreground, and they're going to look pretty awful. In fact, I just put lumps of green down at, at one point, yeah, right here. And that's okay, because I'm actually going to be putting the branches in with snow later. Um, using white gouache so it really doesn't matter what these look like once I cover them up with the snow they'll be fine and there's so much snow on these trees that there's not much green showing anyway
Now here it's a new day, as you can see. My sleeves are a different color. Um, <laughs> I had a horrible migraine the day before. Actually, it was for three days, which is why you didn't see me post anything on Instagram. I was just miserable. So I was trying to paint this um, yesterday, and I just was screwing everything up. In fact, there's leans on the roof that aren't correct, but I'm going to go ahead and correct all of that eventually. You'll see it all corrected by the end. Um, but anyway, now here I am going in with that snow that I told you about before that it wouldn't matter what the trees look like because the snow is going to define the branches. And that's what I'm doing here with some M. Graham white gouache. I really enjoy the Pentalic Aqua Journals. They've always been my favorite. So I became an ambassador with the Pentalic Art Company. They make a lot of different styles. This one is the Pentalic Watercolor Field Book in 11 by 14. And I really enjoy painting on this. It's nice to be able to do a large painting. And if I want to keep it, you know, it's on this wire bound book so I can technically cut it off and then just trim the edge to be framing certain paintings. So I figure, well, if they turn out good, maybe I would frame them. Otherwise they can just sit in the book. Several people have commented to me um, calling the, the company Pentel. Yeah, there is a Pentel company um, they make a lot of pens and things like that. Um, I think they make um, the water brushes also and di all sorts of different items. But that's a different company. This is Pentalic Art. And they make all art-related stationery type of items. Plus they have some pens and pastels and things like that on their website. Now here I've mixed a little bit of ultramarine blue and a little bit of rose of ultramarine to darken up the areas of um, shadiness on the snow. So um, I could darken it a little more than the lavender was doing. Now I'll be going in and adding the snow to the painting for my final touches in the snow on the background trees. But I'm going to be using a Derwent um, eraser with a brush on the other end which has long plastic bristles and it works great for snow. Just practice with different items, toothbrushes, paintbrushes, whatever to find something that works well for you. 
If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Leave a comment down the below if you have any ideas or questions or things for other videos that you'd like me to do. And if you're not already, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. Everybody remember, be courageous, paint with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to each other. Take care.